One of the biggest challenges when it comes to treating cancer is evolution. Cancer treatments are designed to kill cancer cells. But cancer treatments aren't always 100% effective, and sometimes cancer comes back. In those instances, the returning cancer can be much harder to treat. In this video, we'll take a look at why evolution is to blame for these instances where cancers return. And we'll delve into the fundamentals of a new approach to treating cancer that in some cases might lead to better outcomes. When cancerous cells are exposed to radiation or chemotherapy, many of those cells die right away. A smaller number of those cells, maybe they need a few treatments before they succumb to the hostile environments thrust upon them by radiation and chemotherapy. And a few, a few of those cancerous cells, because of random chance mutations, might actually be super resistant to high doses of radiation and high doses of chemotherapeutic drugs. These super resistant cancer cells are typically kept in check by the rest of the cells in a given tumor. You see, the only thing that they're better at compared to the rest of the cells in a given tumor is surviving when subjected to high doses of radiation or chemotherapy. In a scenario where there is no radiation and where there is no chemotherapy, those cells are pretty much just average tumor cells. Those super resistant cells are just a few amongst a large population of cancer cells. But when all of the radiation sensitive cells and all of the chemotherapy-sensitive cells, when all of those cells are killed off, that allows the resistant ones, the ones that survive the treatment, to regrow into a new tumor. A new tumor that is now entirely composed of resistant cells. That is essentially the same process that occurs when bacteria are exposed to antibiotics. Susceptible bacteria are killed off with low doses of a given antibiotic, but resistant bacteria survive and reproduce, and subsequent bacterial infections can be much harder to treat with antibiotics. It's the same process that we see occurring when an insect species develops a resistance to insecticide over generations. It's the process of natural selection. It's literally part of evolution. This is why cancer sometimes returns, and this explains why when cancer returns, it's often much harder to deal with. The recurrent cancerous growth is incredibly resistant to any hostile environment that we might subject it to. One emergent type of treatment that's geared at trying to avoid this is called adaptive therapy. The idea with adaptive therapy is to manage a tumor rather than trying to eradicate it. Some chemotherapy might be used, some radiation, but just enough to make sure that the tumor doesn't get any bigger. This avoids the terrible side effects that are associated with high doses of radiation and chemotherapy, and it might reduce the chances of a cancer becoming highly resistant, metastatic, and terminal. The cancerous cells that are highly resistant to chemo and radiation are never given a chance to flourish. They have to compete with all of the other tumor cells for space and for cellular resources. Now, this is a growing area of treatment when it comes to cancer, and there are new research studies and clinical trials being published on a regular basis. So keep tabs on it. Who knows? Adaptive therapy could very well be the dawning of a new era of cancer treatment that results in longer and healthier lives post-diagnosis. For more information on the genetics and cell biology and treatment of breast cancer, be sure to check out the other videos in this series. And you can always visit our website, www.evo-ed.org, for teaching and learning resources, as well as other materials. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.